Hello and welcome to a very quick new video. Um, and of course my car turns the lights off. I am sitting, as you see, uh, in my 2021 Tesla Model 3 standard range in Germany. And I just got the update to 2024.8.7. The very new version just came out uh, at the end of March 2024. And as we are in Germany, we got the nice uh, Matrix headlights. And those were put in the cars for like two years, three years. I think the model year 2021 refresh got them first. And since then, they were pretty much put into all of the cars Tesla built since then. I think Model S and X got them a bit later with the 2022 refresh. Um, but 3 and Y got them since early spring or late spring 2021, something around there, sometime around there. And um, as of the end of last year, and as of the end of 2023, Tesla um, got those lights registered for their ability to use the matrix function in Germany. So it got approved so Tesla could use the matrix function in the software. And now I just got the update. Um, and as you can see here, I of course already opened up the menu. So we're gonna go into lights here. We got the adaptive high beams, which selectively dims individual pixels of the high beams to reduce glare for other traffic. Uh, and that should uh, put the headlights and the high beams on as soon as I exit uh, the village. And uh, if there's oncoming traffic, they should not be blinded by uh, my high beams. I didn't try that out yet. I just got in the car and just like the update was installed 20 minutes ago. Um, so I just think let's just drive around for a bit, check that out, look how that works, hope that there's some traffic so we can test it out. Also, just a quick mention, there's now a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth menu in here, uh, which were previously there, but not there. They were hidden. Uh, you could reach them through this Wi-Fi up here and that was a pop-up and you could you could reach Bluetooth also via pop-up up there and now it's two separate menus. But um, let's not talk too long about that. Let's turn on the car. Uh, let's put away that information thing. Also my seat recently uh, did get into his right position more often. That's pretty cool. Um, let's turn off those interior lights and um, yeah, put the car into gear and let's head out of the village. Um, I'm gonna cut to when the high beams uh, turn on first in just a sec. And you just saw them turn on, I hope. Um, that's a completely different animation I would say than before. Before it just turned on like hard on and um, now it like dimmed up so you could see it dimmed down and now it's dimming up again um, and it's still confused by signs I would say. Um, Let's just turn left over here. I don't think the lights are turning with the steering, sadly. That would be awesome. My Golf did that and that was one of the greatest features. Just like the adaptive headlights and now my Model 3 got them as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, so there's a guy to my right and you just saw how it dimmed down. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so awesome. 
I really missed that feature for so long. I have my car for uh, seven months now, maybe something around there since the end of June, and it didn't have the feature, and now it does. Oh, that's so awesome! You can really see how it disables the high beams in the center and like moves them around also around the traffic lights because it thinks they those are real lights um, let's just go through the village here um, and that's not too interesting uh, even though they're still on even though we're standing at the light so that's pretty cool um, yeah yeah you can see them dim around and now they're off. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna th go through the village just for a quick uh, circle around my home. And um, I'm gonna give you another clip as soon as I'm exiting this village again because I'm going through multiple villages around here to get back home. And um, also those are new. Those were the circles before with the arrow inside the circles. Now they're just arrows. I'm not so sure how much I like it, but I do like it more than what I saw in some videos before. Because in, in reality it looks a bit uh, softer and with better proportions than it looked in the video. Um, it even turns on adaptive, adaptive headlight uh, high beams in the village. That's a bit stupid, but you can see it dim up and down there because it recognizes cars and lights and tries to not blind them. Um, that's really, really awesome. Okay, I'm, I guess I'm not gonna uh, just cut to the next village because you can see it's so good here. It needs some tuning to get better because it shouldn't do that inside of a village or town. But um, if it works better than before and recognizes oncoming traffic like better, then it shouldn't be a big problem. But it's dimming up and down and up and down all the time. That's it's soft enough to to not be uh, like what's the word to not take too much attention to it but um, yeah still could be tuned a bit better because we don't need it inside the village we got some lights there it could just recognize that there are some lights um, but yeah still um, such an improvement it's so much better to what it was before that's really Really, really great. Let's stop here. Nothing's coming. And let's turn the high beams off manually. Then it dims down hard, but it slowly and softly dims up. That's nice. Let's get back up to speed to get to the next village. And there we can see oncoming traffic and we can see it <laughs> taking it out of our high beams that's so cool I know it's uh, nothing new and as I said I had it before in my golf not like matrix LED uh, my golf had projector lamps uh, that could open up from the center so it, they could get towards the side um, but it still could do a similar thing but uh, to see it in my car that just half an hour ago wasn't able to do it and now is is just so awesome to see that's just so so great but it should turn off the high beams now because we're entering a village uh, so it's still if there were some people walking around I think it still would blind them because I'm not sure if it re would recognize them early enough. 
but uh, yeah, not that, not, not that bad. At least it's better than before. Um, so I see this as an absolute win. Um, you can also see it's not blinding the person in front of us in their smart. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, I would say that's a very positive result. I'm really happy with that, um, all in all. And I'm so much looking forward to driving at nighttime, so much more than before. Um, because, yeah, it's just such a big improvement. It's so much more comfortable to drive with uh, a feature like that. I would just like it to like turn in there when I'm turning because the projectors can do that they just don't but yeah um, it's dimming up again so yeah um, I would say that's been it for that pretty quick video uh, I'm trying to push this out like in half an hour or so uh, because that's new and I really needed to show you because I know the Model 3 Highland, the refresh 2024 model year, uh, was able to do it since like two months around there, since like January or so. Um, but that has completely different headlights um, and it works different. So I thought I'd just let you know how it looks in my pre refresh. Uh, 2021 facelift model 3 um yeah i don't think there's much more to say for now uh thank you very much for watching and see you guys just on monday in the next one bye